Today, news round has come to a very special winter wonderland. This is what Christmas looks like at the Deaf Village in Blackburn. Each year, they transform their space into a magical Christmas scene. Here, everyone can use British Sign Language. And looking for us, we've got our very own special helper, Zoe. Hi. Hi, Otis. Come with me. There's loads to see. Amazing. Let's go. From sending letters to Santa, to making gingerbread men, and even roasting marshmallows, this place really does seem to have it all. Next to this rather cosy fire in Santa's grotto, Zoe and I took a moment to chat to the kids about what they thought of their winter wonderland. Who's this? Elf. Elf. Ah, elf. What have you been doing today? So I've roasted some marshmallows on the fire. And I also had a s'more as well with a marshmallow and a biscuit. And hot dogs as well. What's been your favourite thing? What did you ask Santa for for Christmas? What? Frozen. <gasps> frozen. I want lots of frozen. Why do you think it's important that Santa can do sign language? Well, because, um, uh, because deaf people won't be able to hear Santa. Oh, it is really important for Father Christmas to sign. And because I'm deaf myself, so it's important to communicate. If you could describe it in three words, how would you describe it? Amazing, fun and interesting. It's easy to see how special this place is to the kids that come here. But before I said goodbye, there was one more person I simply had to meet. So what did you get? Coal. Hmm. But did you enjoy yourself? You know what, I've had the best time, Zoe. Thank you so much for today. It's been amazing. You're welcome, Otis. <laughs>